Okay, so we'll start by making the bonnet of the car. We have our scene set up and we'll start. So how we do it, we're going to use this style tool. Style lets you draw curves and surfaces in 3D. So that is the one button that will let us draw the car in 3D. So we'll start by drawing the curves. It's good to analyze the car first. Um, I've been taking some time to do that and I'll just show it to you to keep the time frame um, quick, nice and quick. So, so I bought a toy version of the car as well to use as reference. So with these pictures, it, it's a bit tricky to do, but um, So to draw curves, it's good to turn this, um, edit this curve using control points on. Be aware, we, you can't really edit the curves while drawing the curves. So it's, it's just, uh, it's just how the program works. So I'm going to draw these lines here. Uh, it's got two points around every corner and we can edit that in the next step. So draw your curves and then you can edit the, the points. So edit curves, you select this button here and we can now edit the points. And also we're going to go into, we're going to turn on all the views. So this button here will let us edit the curves into 3D for us to draw the, the, the curve. So look at all the views and drag each point into place in 3D space. Also be, be aware if you hold control and ALT that will let you constrain it to horizontal and vertical so that's really helpful if you want to keep your points accurate. Drag this there and keep your lines really nice. Take some time to really make the lines clean and neat. So make sure there's a nice flow so in the 3D surface it looks clean. And one more thing, there's a point tool here. This will let you edit the, the point in space. So let's say I want to keep the, the y, uh, y coordinates correct. I'll click that point and then I'll go here and I'll copy and paste it in here. And then now both of the points are on the right place. So that's a useful technique. So that turned out not bad. And we'll go accept that. That's fine there. And I'll show you one more thing. If you go to the view tool, click visual mirror and okay we need a middle plane here to to mirror the curves there so just go to plane select okay so click on plane and make sure you click this brown outer plane click and drag this into place so drag that to the middle and bring the front view forward. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we go to we divide this dimension by two and seven seventy five divided by two. So eight eight seven point five. Okay, now we have a middle plane there and we go to view visual mirror there you go so make sure you click in the right place and it will be mirrored across 
So there you go, you have, we have our first curve there in 3D space. Okay, so the next step we're going to make the other curves here. Uh, to make a surface we need a curve on the outer edge or a profile on the, on the curves. So I'll just show you that to show what I mean. Okay, so to go back edit the curves, we just go to right click on the style step and we go edit definition. Okay, so we just bring the full views up. And I'll be drawing a profile curve here. When you draw your curves, make sure the, the end of the line meets it really close on the line for the surface to work. We're going to put it right on the line. Just make sure you zoom in and put it right on top. This is very important to make the surface to work. So many people have trouble with that. That's how you solve it. Okay, so this curve is actually elevated slightly up. So I have a look at the reference model of the car. This curve is elevated slightly. And there you go. So that's, we made two curves and we're going to make one more curve to create the surface. So you, you need to take some time to experiment with the tool because You gotta really understand how they work to draw the surface. So just have a go, play around with it. So for me, I I, I keep to keep the lines really simple. I just make two points and then edit the lines and add some more more points in it. So I add two lines there. I'll just add another point there, and it will let me edit the the points. So if you click this button here, it will turn on control point so we'll bring that to the middle plane Yeah, with Creo, I, I just gotta say again, you gotta really take your time putting the points in place for this to work. Just zoom in and make sure it's right on top. So we'll try now, we'll see if the surface works. So to make the surface, we click the surface tool and just hold control and select all the lines. So after you select your lines and it didn't work, so so the points, we're going to have a look at the points again and see where the problem are. Oh yeah, I think this is it. So basically the front point's not close enough. So the point's just gonna be right close for this to work.
Okay, so I've just adjusted the free curves to connect right on really close. Try your best to make it really close and click the surface tool and click all the line and it creates a surface based on the curves. So you can add more lines to create the profile, but that's our first surface there.